Welcome. This is Jenkins Governance Board. Today is the 16th of September, 2024. We've got the usual topics on the agenda, including upcoming calendar, news, action items, community activity, and governance topics. Uh, if there are additional topics, are there any that you'd like to propose? Okay, then let's go through the through the topics we have. So election voter registration begins today. Uh, we've got six candidates for three officer positions, two candidates, or no, six candidates for, for three governance board positions. We've got two candidates for the release officer position and one candidate each for the other officer positions. So we will run the election. We will do registration starts now. Um, We'll talk about it more later. Then we've got a new weekly release coming tomorrow. Select the LTS baseline the next day. And in a few weeks, we've got 2.462.3 with Chris Stern as release lead. And tomorrow, DevOps World 2024. And thanks to all the board members and officers who have were part of the preparation for it. We look forward to a question and answer session after the presentation. Also this week, we've got the CD Mini Summit happening in Vienna. And reminder that elections are in progress. So cool announcements. Jenkins 2.472 with Jetty 12 EE8 came out. And oh, actually I should put the next one, which is Jenkins Weekly with Jetty 12 EE9 was 2.475. And I don't remember the date, but it was not long ago. And we've got LTS release dates set for 462.1, 2, and 3. Action items. So Mark and Basel run the 2024 election. It's in progress. Basel create the attribution ent entries for the downloads page is paused while we work on spring security. And Kevin Martin's retire the Jenkins site. The Chinese Jenkins site is paused while we work on updates.jenkins.io. Kevin, anything you want to report there different than what I shared? Nope, I'm back from surgery and stuff. So I can, uh, it's back on my plate, but uh, yeah, we're taking a, a slight pause for the time being. And then we'll re, uh, uh, return once the uh, updates.jenkins.io is all squared away. Great, thank you. All right. So the next topic is on our community activity topic. We continue the contributor spotlight. We've now completed over six months of spotlights. Most recently, Shiva Lamba is highlighted and that highlight will continue for two more weeks. Thanks to Kevin for his active authoring. Thanks to those who have helped gather the data, including John Mark Mason, and for Bruno Verachtens continuing to watch the data and monitor it to see how we're doing. Last topic then, or next topic, governance topics. So governance board and Jenkins officer nominations are finished. So nominations are done. Uh, Alex and Uli's term will end in December and the new officers will start 3rd of December going through the 2nd of December, 2026. So Basil and I are running the election as the election committee. We've got six candidates for three positions on the board. So Kosuke Kawaguchi is resigning from the governance board, which opens us up to three positions rather than the more typical two. The candidates include Alex Earl, Alex Brandis, Chris Stern, Oleg Nanashev, Stefan Speaker, and Valentin Delay. Thanks to all six of them, We've also got two candidates nominated and confirmed for the release officer, Tim Jacome, who's our current release officer, and Alex Earl. And then one candidate for each of the other officer positions, Alyssa, Damien, Kevin, and Vadek. Any questions on, on the nominations? Great. Okay, so next action then. Basil and I will create the candidate announcement and the voter registration blog post. I expect that will happen later today so that we can get the word out. 
uh, Alex, I think I need you to be the one to create the voter registration work registration group on community. If I remember correctly, I don't have enough permissions to do it. I can do that after the meeting. Thank you. Thanks very much. So one of the complications here, or one of the things that I think we should do, the announcement won't have candidate statements or deeper things than we've already got in biography because I haven't had time to gather them. So what I'd like to do is do the announcement blog post today or tomorrow, and then invite the candidates to provide their own statements that will then upload to the blog pages over, over the course of the period while we're registering voters. That way, all the candidates have a chance to express what their vision is, express where they'd like to go and how they'd like the Jenkins project to evolve. Well, I'd rather just uh, delay it uh, for a week. There is plenty of time until the next milestone. Sorry, so delay what, um, Oleg? No. Uh, so, sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm right. No, it's the right microphone. Yeah, so basically there is a long time for voter registration. So maybe for announcement, you could just postpone it one week uh, so that uh, everyone has a chance to submit on time. Sure, that would be fine as well. So so I, I wanted to get the start of registration going so that we had the full six weeks for voter, voter registration, but I'm I'm open to hold it. It is plenty of time, right? We've we've allocated ourselves six weeks for voter registration. In the past, we would do it typically only in four. Yeah. Uh, so there is a merit of announcing it early, given uh, DevOps world. So if you plan to announce it, uh, to have some call to action, but otherwise, I think uh, one week doesn't matter too much. Alex, technically, we do not need the. Um your statements before the election starts and the election starts in six weeks mm -hmm. right so, so maybe you can add the time when the election starts in the in one of the bullet points so i'm not sure if it mm -hmm. was a little bit up of the agenda did you write at which time the election actually start uh, yeah so that should be elsewhere mm -hmm. it was where is it? Maybe it's not in this agenda, but it's certainly there on the page. The election starts, okay. the voting begins one November okay. and lasts for four weeks. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's where yeah. we need the statements. Yeah. So uh, if uh, there is no nominations by others, so if everything are self nominations, I think that announcing now to result statements would be perfectly fine. And yeah, as Ulya said, basically having a full post, etc. when the election starts and you won. Great. Okay. So we'll, I'll then go ahead with, sounds like it's okay that I go ahead with announcing the candidates and the, that voter registration has started. And then that over the course of the next several weeks, we will get more detailed statements from each of the candidates and, and post those detailed statements. That also lets us promote the election by multiple blog posts and multiple tweets. So I, I like that. That sounds attractive to me. Any objections from others? Okay, great. Uh, Alex, oh, the group is already open. Excellent. Thank you. Very, very good. Anything else on elections? By the way, thanks, Alex. Your template that you created for us from last year has been absolutely brilliant. Uh, I've just been using that thing and it just works. Thank you. And thanks to those who have, who have been nominated. I'm, I'm especially pleased with the number of board candidates we have. That's really great. Thank you everyone for being willing to, to be involved in Jenkins. Next topic then was Spring Security 6 upgrade. And here, this is not so much a Jenkins board topic as it is keeping everyone informed, including the board. So Spring Security 5 reaches, has reached end of life 31st of August, 2024. That was their last point where they were willing to do any further builds. They've switched all work onto Spring Security 6. Spring Security 6 is now included in Jenkins Weekly using Jetty 12 with Jakarta EE9. And it's been there now for two weeks. 
And tomorrow's release will be the third week, third week where we've got Jetty 12 EE9. There are a few plugins that must be upgraded in lockstep. The LDAP plugin is one of those that's noteworthy in its case because it includes portions of spring security inside of itself. Uh, next step is tomorrow, or no, yes, Wednesday of this week, an LTS baseline will be selected. Right now it's looking like either 2.476 or 2.477. And then about six weeks later on the 30th of October, we'll deliver the first Jenkins LTS that drops support for Java 11, adds Spring Security 6, or replaces Spring Security 5 with Spring Security 6. Lots going on right now in terms of testing, lots of exploring to be sure everything is working as expected. It, it's been a multiple months of effort by lots of people. Special thanks to Adrien Le Charpentier, to Basil Crow, to many others. Any questions on Spring Security 6 upgrade? Okay, next topic then is cloud costs. So one of the challenges for the Jenkins project is our the shifting world of cloud funding. And so we're really pleased that we continue to keep our Azure costs as paid by CDF under the budget that they've established for us. Uh, so their budget that they'd established for is keep it under 5,000 a month. And we're consistently under 5,000 a month with the CDF paid portion of our Azure resources. We're also grateful to Microsoft that they donated $60,000 to us and that oh, this remaining number I think must be wrong because, well, let's go this way. We've, we've used a good 20,000 of the, of the Microsoft donation already and we'll continue using that we're really grateful for their donation. They contributed an extra 60,000 to the Jenkins project a month or so ago. And thanks very much to Microsoft. In addition, DigitalOcean is continuing to donate. They donate about 18,000 a year to the Jenkins project. And AWS just donated 60,000 not long ago. And thanks to CloudBees, we continue to have CloudBees funding a portion of our AWS, AWS expenses as well. All of those things are within budget. Right now, the big focus of the infrastructure team is to save money on this budget by moving the update center to Cloudflare. And that move to Cloudflare gives us more reliable, more fault tolerant, and much, much lower cost. Any questions on cloud costs? Okay. Any other topics that we need to bring up today? All right, that's great. Thanks everybody.